Unlike many of you here today, I do not for a corporate, I am not working for a corporate archives. I am the business archive specialist at the Shibusawa Ichi Memorial Foundation. Because of this, I have what I imagine to be a different outlook on who exactly I consider to be a stakeholder. Let me explain by giving a brief overview of the Shibusawa Ichi Memorial Foundation. Shibusawa Ichi was an entrepreneur and a philanthropist who was at the forefront of the modernization of Japan. In 1886, a study group was formed by young boarders at a Shibusa home who wanted to learn from Eiichi. The group developed over the years, becoming incorporated as a foundation in 1924, dedicating itself to memorial projects after Eiichi's death in 1931, and finally realizing a long-held goal and opening the Shibusawa Memorial Museum in 1982. The appointment of a new president in the late 1990s provided an impetus to the foundation to grapple with fundamental issues of how to be relevant and meaningful in the 21st century. As a result, the foundation dedicated itself to becoming internationally oriented and embracing digital technologies. Today, the foundation is a small charitable organization with two missions, to honor the accomplishments and ideals of Shibusawa Eichi and to improve ethical standards and corporate culture in business based on Eichi's philosophies. The latter of these two is particularly important given what has, until recently, been a sad state of affairs for business archives in Japan. It has been long common for business men and women in Japan to worry if, uh, that their career was ending if they were transferred to the department within the company that was in charge of old company records and other materials for the compilation of a company histories for special anniversaries. Right up until the end of the 20th century, few active corporate archives programs existed in Japan, and there were almost no professional archivists employed by Japanese companies. Given these circumstances, the Shibusawa H Memorial Foundation began cooperating with groups such as the Business Archives Association, BAA of Japan, on an innovative project called the Business Archives Project that aimed to promote awareness of corporate archives, especially in regard to the value that archival records and artifacts can contribute to a range of functions within a company and the important role of staff running archive programs as the active and valuable providers of heritage information. This is what I want to persuade people in business and business archives in Japan. They are active and valuable providers of heritage information. I have managed the project since its inception in 2004. The first stage of the project was to build a director of business archives in Japan. While such a directory exists in North America, and similar information may be available from professional organizations in many countries around the world. In Japan, however, no such directory existed. So we cooperated with the members of BAA and spent some time to gather information on business archives in Japan, and the directory was made public on the Foundation's website in 2009. In 2007, the Shibusa Foundation collaborated with the Society of American Archivists and other, others to hold a joint seminar in Tokyo on archives in Japan and the US. The seminar not only increased understanding on corporate archives in Japan, but also led to the development of valuable professional and personal contacts, such as with SBA member Becky Tauzi, 
which ultimately led to the Shibusa Foundation joining the ICA in 2008 and me becoming a member of the steering committee of the ICSBA. These developments improved the information dissemination portion of the Business Archives project, particularly through the content for an easing newsletter and website. The easing, BA Tsushin, or uh, in English, the Business Archives News, was launched in beta form in 2007 and officially on February 15, 2008, in order to share resources in Japanese on foreign business archives. Content includes summaries of events or new publications on business archives, primarily in English-speaking regions. Since its launch, the easing has been published roughly every month, with subscribership rising gradually over the years. All the issues are now available on the Foundation's website, providing access to back issues and allowing non-subscribers to read the easing. Longer articles, particularly Japanese translation of presentations or articles by SBM members, as well as Japanese and English versions of many of my presentations, are shared directly on the Foundation's website. The first uploaded was a Japanese translation of an inspirational presentation by Elizabeth Adokins, and there are currently nearly a dozen articles available. The next to be added is a Japanese translation of an important article by the SBA's very own Paul Lathowitz. Both these articles are the easy, not only offer free access to what I feel is important information, but also supports the goals of the Business Archives project. The SBA Symposium, held in Tokyo in 2011, further increased international networking and information sharing in Japan. The publication of a book with a presentation in Japanese translation made the symposium's uh, valuable content available to a wider audience. This type of sharing obviously benefits business archives communities, but from the foundation's standpoint, it is the reason for starting the business archive project in the first place, as I believe that an increase in knowledge and recognition of business archives will further the foundation's goal of improving ethical standards and corporate culture in business. The foundation believes that proper record keeping and the effective use of archives can play a vital role in increasing corporate accountability concept. Accountability, that this is the concept that is still relatively new to Japanese companies. A survey of the Nihon Keizai Shinbun, a daily Japanese newspaper, business newspaper, for the 41 years from 1976 until 2016 shows neither the loan word accountability nor a Japanese term created to express the same sentiment, setsumei sekinin, we call it setsumei sekinin now, appeared with any regularity until the late 1990s. Usage increased as a rising falling investment to demand for improvements to Japanese business practices in this and related areas such as corporate governance, transparency, or the information disclosures. The graph shows the number of times that two terms were used in the newspaper and thus cannot act as an indicator as to whether corporate accountability itself has increased within Japan. But I feel that is that it demonstrates an increased awareness of accountability and a chance for corporate archives to demonstrate their value in many ways. In preparing for my presentation today, I reached out to my contacts at corporate archives throughout Japan and other subscribers of the easing, those that I would consider to be the stakeholders of the business archives project, my, the stakeholder to my project, or our project. I asked them 
for their comments on the project and recognition of corporate archives within their companies. The director of one corporate archives and museum commented that although he was interested in learning about issues related to business archives around the world, it was too difficult for him and others in the field to find such information themselves. The easing, he said, provided this valuable information and the project as a whole is inspirational for archivists in the field. This latter sentiment was echoed by a number of others. An archivist with another company commented that she has used specific case studies she has gained from the easing as, an, as examples when discussing strategies, archives strategies with co-workers. Other comments included numerous requests for more information and case studies on business archives within Japan. This shows that while the business archives project, in particular the Izin Bietsushin, has become a recognized and trusted resource in the archives community in Japan, there is still much that it can accomplish. I am heartened by the fact that changes can be seen in various companies throughout Japan. More companies are establishing specialized divisions for archives management, and increasingly, these are being staffed by younger generations, by women, and especially, importantly, expert uh, people with expert knowledge and skills. There's still a long way to go, but in the context of a current business environment in Japan, I feel our emphasis on the value of business archives, especially that of corporate accountability, is a source of trust for our corporate archives stakeholders, such as the Toyota Archives, with whom we have cooperated for the last few years. This is a very new book published last month from the University of Toronto Press, uh, sponsored by our foundation. It's, the title is Ethical Capitalism, which very much uh, express the uh, missions of our foundation. The authors include Professor Jeffrey Jones, Harvard, uh, Harvard University School. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your listening. Thank you. Thank you.